Welcome to The Idea Space, a podcast devoted to sharing strategies and tools to help you make your dream life possible. I'm your host, Jen Liddy, a teacher turned entrepreneur. It's my mission to help women grow their businesses and get what they want without feeling guilty, overwhelmed, or confused. If you're tired of your ideas spinning around your mind and you really want something more for yourself, you're in the right place. Learn how to create the space to make your ideas a reality. I promise if I can do this, anyone can. Let's go. Hello and welcome to the Idea Space Podcast. I'm your host, Jen Liddy, and every week I do this podcast to strive to help you create some room inside your mind so that you can have the life and business that you want. Now, welcome to September 2020. And the reason I'm doing this week's podcast is that most of the women I have talked to and worked with, and personally myself also, have felt very out of sorts for varied reasons. So this month, I want to talk about how to normalize what we're feeling so that we stop feeling so alone with it, so weird about what we're dealing with, or out of touch with ourselves. Let's start where I started with this podcast today, which is I was thinking about back in February and March 2020 when COVID was just starting to take root in the United States. And I remember there was this moment where I thought, should I even mention this in my content? Like, what if somebody was going to listen to this podcast a year from now? Would I, would I want to be talking about COVID? Would, I, would they even want to hear about COVID? And I thought, this is probably going to go away soon. Do I even want to address it in content that somebody might hear later? Let's, let's just maybe pretend it's not really happening. And of course, now, six, seven months later, I can see that COVID will affect us for literally the rest of our lives in some way. Like, I can't pretend that this hasn't happened because it's affected all of us so deeply and so differently. But I really thought I could get away with pretending. And frankly, I've noticed I've been pretending in other parts of my life. Pretending is something I've been doing more and more. Like, it's been as simple as let's pretend that the email I sent out last week didn't have a couple of errors in it. Right. And that's not, that's not that serious, but like, let's just, let's just go with it. Or on a more serious note, let's pretend that I never said that hurtful, stupid thing to you, but we can even take pretending to the identity level. Let's pretend that I didn't used to be a miserable and controlling person and pretending, I've been thinking about it a lot. And the reason we do it is that it protects us from what others think, but it more deeply protects us from what we think of ourselves. And I could pretend with you every week in my podcasts or my blog and emails or my messaging that I have figured all my shit out because I've done my work, right? Like I've gone through therapy a couple of times. I have a coach. I, I've done the healing. And yes, it has helped with the angry person that I used to be. And even now I am less angry every day, but my old angry self is not my favorite part of me, but I can see that she is still there and she's coming up in my life a lot more than she ever used to. Now, where I saw myself pretending is that I could pretend that who I used to be, this angry controlling part of me, that she's not who I am anymore, but that is a lie. And I noticed I've been angry lately because there is a lot to be angry about. There's a lot to be hurt about. And angry Jen exists to protect and serve me sometimes. But when angry Jen shows up, I will judge the hell out of myself. And my coach, Patty, calls this the not me part of me. It's the part of ourselves that we don't like. The parts we try to squash, pretending that they don't exist. And there are other parts of me that I would love to pretend don't exist, like snarky Jen or judgy Jen or sarcastic Jen. And when we pretend these parts don't exist, we think we don't have to deal with them. But in case you haven't noticed, pretending is freaking exhausting. And it keeps us lying to ourselves. We keep ourselves stuck and not moving forward, going toward our goals and our business and our lives. So I really wanted to take time this month to talk about how to normalize this conversation. Because if we pretend too long, we start to lose ourselves. And guess how I know all about that? Because I've done it myself. So I bet you're just tuckered out by everything going on in the world right now. And if that's true, I want you to understand three things. 
First, you are not alone. I swear to God, you are not the only one feeling completely wiped out, confused, and drained by everything going on around you. Second, the struggle that you're dealing with is real. Even if the people around you, the people you work with and the people you live with and the people you love are unaffected by it, your experience is real. And three, you must stop pretending that you need to be perfect or different or better or more. Stop pretending that the parts of you you don't care for don't exist because pretending doesn't make them go away. There is nothing wrong with you for feeling how you feel. Let's normalize how you feel. Let's stop pretending it's not happening because whatever you want for your life, pretending will not get you there. Well, it might get you there, but it certainly won't keep you there. And that's the trick. To have whatever it is you want, the personal work of dealing with your own, not you parts is a very necessary part of the game. We no longer have to pretend the parts of us that we're not crazy about don't exist, but we do need a plan to deal with them because the more we pretend, the less ourselves we become. And again, guess how I know? So right now the world needs authentic you to show up. And yes, I know this is difficult because other people may not like this part of you. They may be used to you pretending, but if you're tired or depleted or anxious or scared or angry or, or, or any of the feelings that you're feeling, these are just not the pretty parts of ourselves. And maybe in the past you've been shamed for this part of you by others But one thing I've learned is that we can't control what other people do or say. We can't control other people's thoughts or judgments, no matter how perfect we try to be, no matter how hard we work at it. And when we pretend or hide ourselves away and try to be perfect for them, we are cheating on ourselves. Hey, even if you didn't have your let's pretend this part of me doesn't exist parts, you would still not get everyone's approval. There's always going to be somebody who hates what you do, who judges you, who talks about it. Others, they won't care what you do. They'll feel indifferent. And sometimes that's worse. Other people, no matter who you are, they're going to love you. Others will despise you. Others will judge you, ignore you, tell you that they, they think you're the, the most amazing thing. They'll praise you. Some are going to troll you. It doesn't matter because you have zero control over it. So if you are ready to stop pretending, that's when you'll be ready to live the life you want to have. That's when you'll be ready to have the life you're dreaming of. So here's what you do next. Just name how you're feeling. No shame. Just name it. Remember that you're not alone. Other people out there are feeling this too. You might not know who they are. You might not have found them yet, but I promise you, you are not alone. Then you show up for that version of yourself. What does she need I have been pretending that angry Jen is not here today, but she is. She's angry and upset and hurt and exhausted by everything that's going on around her. And so for me, what does that version of myself need? Well, it's a combination of a lot of rest and alone time, like a lot, unreasonable amounts in my mind. It's all very weird for me. I don't normally need this, but I have to give it to myself or else I just am so depleted. I'm so cranky. I'm so unproductive. So what is it for you? What do you need so that you can stop pretending this never happened? Now this week, I'd like to offer you a gift. This is a downloadable freebie that will help you gain back the time and energy and space to do this work. It'll help you create the time to get what you need so you can breathe again without overhauling your life or sacrificing. And I love this tool. I've had this tool for a while, but I haven't shared it in a long time. So I'm sharing it again. It's called Master Your Time. It's three simple steps to help you create more time, energy, and space every day. Even if you have zero extra time in your life right now, because you probably need some time to figure out what you are feeling so that you can give that part of you what she needs. It comes with some free coaching emails to take you step-by-step through the entire three-step process. And I promise if this overworking, overscheduled perfectionist right here talking to you now can create more time in her day than anyone can. So to grab it, you go to www.jenliddy.com forward slash time. 
And for some reason, you really need to put that www in there. So make sure that you get to www.jenliddy.com forward slash time. And by early next week, you could have more breathing room in your day every day. But most importantly, stop squashing down that part of you that you just don't like. Stop denying her what she needs. Stop pretending and start showing up for what she really needs. I hope this has been helpful and I really look forward to hearing from you about it. You can always email me at jen underscore liddy at me.com and I would love to hear from you. Have a great week. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. If you like what you heard, please subscribe to the Idea Space in your podcast app and tell a friend of yours who needs some help getting where she wants to go. I'd be so appreciative if you left a review because then we can help more women create the space for their ideas too. Go to jenliddy.com forward slash free to grab the many free resources there to help you move forward. And I will see you next time. Bye.